How to play finger style or finger picking guitar. Lesson 16. Christmas Carol 3. The First Noel. And this is an optional lesson. And what I mean by that is, this isn't a strict part of the course. So whilst it's in the course, you don't necessarily have to do this lesson. You can skip it if you want. I just thought I'd introduce another Christmas carol before Christmas to improve your repertoire. However, if you don't like this tune, or you find it a little hard, you can skip the lesson. If you're new to this channel, this lesson is part of a structured course, and you can find the link to the playlist down below in the description. Or you can also find the entire course at www ebooksforguitar.com and this lesson is part of the finger picking course but there's lots of other courses there as well and a constantly growing library of lessons and on the website you'll also find the tablature for this lesson and an ebook that you can view completely free online right let's get started with the exercise this tune's got quite a tricky finger picking pattern in it. However, if you isolate it from the tune and just practice the finger picking pattern first, you'll find it a lot easier to play. And because of this, we're going to do an exercise first. The exercise is made up of four parts, A, B, C and D. And they're just slight variations on the finger picking pattern. So we'll learn them separately and bring it all together. Exercise Part A To play these exercises, we're only going to be using two very basic chords. And they are the D major chord and the C major chord. But these exercises aren't about the chords. They're about the finger picking hand and the finger picking patterns. And each of these patterns only consist of two picks. The first one is a pinch between either the annular or the middle finger and the second one is just the index finger. So looking more closely at part A of the exercise, you'll notice we first pinch between the primary finger and the annular finger. Then we just play the index finger. So here's what that should sound like very slowly. Here's part A of the exercise being played at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. And it's in 3-4 time because that's the same time signature as the tune we'll be using. And this means there's three beats in the bar. Here that is again, and if you can, try playing along with it. But if you're not ready yet, pause the video here and try practicing it for a few minutes. And here that is again. If you think you can, let's try playing this again at 70 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Once you're fairly happy with that, let's move on to part B of the exercise. And here we're doing exactly the same thing, but this time the primary finger 
is plucking the A string as opposed to the D string. Let's hear that being played at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Let's hear that again at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. As we did before, if you think you can't play along with it, pause the video and just try practicing it for a few minutes. Otherwise, try playing along with it. And here that is again. Once you think you've got part A and part B of the exercise, try playing them one after another in a loop. And this way you'll get used to changing the primary finger from one string to the other. I'll play that now. Part A, part B, part A, part B. And I'll do that at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. So you can try and play along with it if you can. Right, let's move on to part C. And in this part, we're pinching between the primary finger and the middle finger on the B string. Let's hear what that sounds like at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. And here that is again with a two bar introduction. Try and play along with this if you can. And here it is a little bit faster at 70 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Now let's look at the final line or the final part of the exercise. And in this part, we're just moving the primary finger down to the A string again and everything else is the same. So let's hear that being played at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. And here that is again. Try and play along with it if you think you can. Otherwise, pause the video and just practice what you've learnt so far. Here 
Here's the entire exercise with all the parts being played at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Try and play along with it if you can. And here that is again, but this time at 70 beats per minute. Right, once you think you're reasonably proficient with that finger picking pattern, let's move on to the song. Christmas Carol 3, The First Noel Let's hear how it sounds first before we start looking at the actual tune. Here it is at 70 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. The first thing I need to point out is that this tune is in 3-4 time again, which means there's three crotchet beats in each bar. And another thing I need to point out is that it starts on the third beat of the bar. So when you count it in for two bars, you actually play two bars and two beats, or eight beats in total. And even though you've come in on the third bar before in the previous Christmas Carol, We'll just practice that a few times and play the first phrase, which is up to the first beat of the second bar. And the first time we do it, I'll count you in to help you get the timing. Here's the first phrase then, at 60 beats per minute, with a two bar introduction, and I'll be counting along with it. One, two, three, two, two, three. Three, two. Here that is again without me counting. And here it is one last time. Let's move on to the second phrase, which goes from the second beat of bar two till about the middle of bar three. And first we'll hear it played at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Mm -hmm. 
And the only question I could see arising from this small phrase is how to play the first note of the third bar, which is the pinch, where you have to play the second fret of the A string and the third fret of the B string. And how you fret this particular shape is entirely up to you. If you play the guitar contemporary style, you'd probably prefer to play a partial G6 to play these notes, i.e. you'd use the first finger on the second fret and the third or fourth finger on the third fret. Whereas if you're classically trained, you'd probably prefer to play the second fret with the second finger and the third fret with either the third or fourth finger. Personally, I'll play this with the second finger on the second fret and the fourth finger on the third fret. Here's that phrase being played again at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. You might need to pause the video here and practice this without the metronome. However, if you're playing it okay, here it is one last time at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Right, here it is from the beginning with a two bar introduction. Try and play along with it if you can. And here that is again. Right, let's take a look at the next phrase. And that's going from the end of bar three through to the middle of bar five. And here's how it sounds with a two bar introduction. Hopefully you notice that bar four uses the finger picking patterns you practiced in the exercises. However, now it's complicated by the fact that you've got to fret the notes. I'm sure you'll agree that none of the notes are complicated. However, getting between them is a little difficult. So, I don't think there's many people who will be able to play this with a metronome straight away. However, here's how it sounds with a two bar introduction again, just in case you can play along with it. And we're going from the end of bar three. And here that is again. To learn this tune, you might want to pause after each phrase and practice that phrase, or you might want to go through the whole video and practice the whole tune in your own time. Both methods work because I've seen students use both methods and still learn the tune. Here's that phrase again then that runs from the end of the third bar to the middle of the fifth bar and it's been played at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. And here it is from the beginning, right the way through to the middle of the fifth bar with a two bar introduction at 60 beats per minute.
and here that is again. Let's move on to the next phrase. And this is by far the most complex and longest phrase in the entire tune. And it runs from the last beat of bar 5 through to the second beat of bar 9. And you might have noticed already, virtually the entire phrase comprises of the finger picking pattern we learnt in the exercise before this. Here's that phrase being played at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. I'm sure you can hear why I said it's the most complex and longest phrase in the tune. And it is quite difficult to play. But that's not because of complex chord shapes or big reaches. It's just getting between the changes quickly, that's awkward. But there are things that will help. For example, if you look at bars 5 and 6, they're identical to bars 3 and 4. So, the only new and unique part of this passage is the last two beats of bar 7 and bar 8. So you can hear that. Here's the entire passage being played again at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. But don't worry if you can't play along with it yet. This will take some practice before you can do that. And here that is again. Right, let's hear the entire tune being played from the beginning to the second beat in bar 9. And I'll play that at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. If you think you can play it, try playing along. And here that is again. At the end of bar 9, you'll notice there's a repeat mark. And this pairs up with the repeat mark at the beginning of bar 2. You might also have noticed that the last two notes in bar 9 are identical to the two notes that opened the tune up in bar 1. And what all this means is, we repeat from here to the beginning of bar 2. And the last two notes of bar 9 are replacing bar 1. 
However, above bar 9 are the words first time. And what this means is, once you've repeated to bar 2, you play through the tune again until you get to the end of bar 8, and then you skip bar 9 and play the end of the tune. To make this perfectly clear, I'll play through the tune and you can follow along what bars I'm playing. Just in case you need reminding, if you look at the last two bars, bars 10 and 11, you'll notice there's one pinched note there that is tied to the same notes again in the next bar. And this means you only play them once and you'll hold that note right the way through the second bar. So it lasts for six beats. So this is what it sounds like. Here's the entire tune being played from start to finish with the repeats at 60 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. And here that is again, one last time. This tune is quite interesting in that it can be played at virtually any speed and if you go through the different versions on the internet you've got people playing it really fast and really happy and others really downbeat and really slow. So if you can't play this tune quickly you just play it as a slower more sad tune whereas if you can play it quickly you can reinterpret it as a happier tune at a faster speed. So this tune's got something for everyone really. To finish up then, I'll play through the tune free time on a nylon strung guitar and this will give you an idea of how you could have it sounding with a bit of practice.
I hope you enjoyed this lesson, which was the last of the Christmas carols for this year. However, I'll continue on with more finger picking tunes over the next few weeks. If you're new to these lessons, it would be well worth you going through the entire course, and you'll find a link to the playlist down below in the description. But also, if you go to my channel and take a look at the playlists, there's several more courses there as well. And you can find all these courses with all the YouTube videos in order and the PDF ebooks with the tablature in at www.ebooksforguitar.com. And if you did enjoy this lesson, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Then you'll be notified when I upload new lessons. I'll now play the end of this video out with some metronome beats at 60 beats per minute, three, four time, so you can practice what you've learnt if you want to. Thank you very much for watching.